guess I won't be able to take any questions from you. Good morning. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. You got me and one model today, uh, the European model. What we're going to be talking about here is that we have a little light rain, light snow moving through eastern Michigan right now. That will be done with. We're going to go straight to the model and show you what's going to happen over the next week or so. Much warmer weather on the way for tomorrow, 50s to low 60s uh, in the offing. And then a snowstorm south of Michigan, I will be able to show that to you. So let's get to it and uh, give you at least some version, uh, I hope, of the Facebook Live here. So this is the model run. And we're right there at midday. That's probably a little slow on the movement of this precipitation. It should be out of the area in the next couple of hours. And not really a big problem as roads are warming up, temperatures are warming up. This is tomorrow. Tomorrow, the southwest winds kick back in. That's why we warm up a southern half of lower, let's call it 55 to 60 degrees. Okay. And... Then we go into Thursday night, and this is a rainmaker, it looks like, for most of Michigan, with the exception of the UP. And by Friday morning, the cold front is through, and the weather changes to a brisk west northwesterly wind, more beach erosion on Friday, and somewhat colder temperatures trying to come in. Now, there's the snowstorm that I'm calling it uh, to our south. If you're traveling, say, driving to the southeast to spring break, driving to Florida on Saturday, you'll want to be aware that there will be a strip of snow uh, coming through northern half of Indiana and Ohio. And so let's see, this is Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. If you can get on your horse early, get south of Dayton, Ohio, by noon, say, on Saturday, you're going to be okay. This is 2 p.m., Saturday, there you can see the snow starting to spread into Ohio, and it's in Indiana. It looks like it's about a two to four inch snow. I'd call it a three inch snow probably in about a six hour time period. Now this is Saturday afternoon. The snow is in Ohio and then moving on to the south. Right now, it looks like all of this stays south of Michigan. And we go into the weekend a little bit cooler on an easterly wind. And then we'll just keep going because this is all we got today. We're not sure exactly what happened. The software company maybe changed a few functions on us, I guess you'd say. You know, I equate it to when you go into the grocery store and you knew where the bread aisle was, and then all of a sudden they moved overnight. They moved the bread aisle over there, and they moved this aisle over there, and you go, what's going on? So this is uh, Monday. I'm sorry, this is – let me back up. This is Monday. So Monday into Tuesday looks dry. Cool, but not cold. And then the next storm system, again, taking a northerly track, the storm center to our north. So this would be a rainmaker. One thing we'll keep an eye on is later on in the week, next week, could be a big slug of moisture and could be closer to being cold enough for snow in parts of Michigan. But that, again, is way out in the distance. That's 10 days out. So we'll just keep an eye on that. So that's about it from me for today. We have the light rain and snow ending this morning. Then we'll have dry weather for Thursday and warming up, significantly warmer, 50s to about 60 degrees, southern half lower, Saginaw, Grand Rapids, southward. Uh, northern half, probably about 50 to 55. UP, you're still in the 40s, but that's still mild for this time of the year. And then a wind-making, rain-making weather system coming through quickly Thursday night. But even Thursday night, it should be mostly all rain across most of Michigan, with the exception of maybe the UP. Uh, weekend right now looks quiet. Traveling the south, I'll keep you updated on that. I'll certainly have a post Probably try to work on a post about that Ohio Indiana snowstorm uh, for the weekend. There you have it. That's all you get today from me. We'll get her figured out. You know how technology goes. Uh, maybe the weather system got the corona coronavirus. I'm MLM Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Take care.